if you are a business owner or you are a content creator and you want to start using the instagram reels or the youtube shorts i suggest that you watch this video till the end because in this video i'm going to be sharing with you some tips that i use to film as well as upload content both on youtube and on instagram so yeah let's get right into this <laughs> okay so the first tip that i want to talk about is so important in fact anyway let me not digress the first tip that we'll have to talk about now is you have to be yourself when it comes to instagram reels or youtube shorts you do not have to come on instagram reels and claim to be what you are not it's also people doing things that they are not comfortable with doing on a regular day for example um i know i know these things can be learned but depending when you learn it, especially if you do not have interest in these things. Now, if you're someone that do not have interest in, let's say, makeup transitions and you're trying your best, it's either you go and learn how to do these makeup transitions or you forget about it. So by force, if you've watched my videos on Instagram, you know that I'm, I'm pretty good when it comes to transitions. Let me know if you want a video on how to do this transition. And I will definitely show you guys how to do a couple of transitions. So in other words, if you are someone that do not like to dance, then don't dance. It's not by force. So if you are a playful person, please come on Reels, come on YouTube Shorts and play. In my opinion, I even feel like your creativity comes out more when you are being yourself. You're going to see that everything is going to come really easy to you. Do not try to emulate someone else like their own personality. You need to come and go. My second tip here has to do with the device with which you film your videos. But before we go ahead, I would like to know the device that you use in the comments. Now, to help you create high quality and video content, especially if you use your mobile phone, you have to always make sure that you use your back camera. Why? Because that is the professional thing to do. That is the only thing that makes sense when you're talking about high quality, when you're talking about video content, because you're going to be getting so much more out of your um, video content. Your front camera is always inferior to your back camera. But then, who am I to tell you what to do, right? <laughs> I'm just only suggesting, I'm just only advising. So if you feel like you still want to use your rear camera or your front camera to film, guys, please, do you. Because it is really, really understandable that it's easier, it's faster, because you just want to pick up your phone and then you're doing, and then you're doing all of those things, your front camera, you're seeing yourself, it's easier, it's understandable, I get it. But then, to get more, back camera always you never forget to clean your lens it is way way important it is too important you never forget to clean your lens before you sit down to film or before you stand to film any kind of content also you have to change your your camera settings to 4k these tips are very important if you really really want to um, step up your video quality game right tip number three would have to do with your lighting now when it comes to lighting we, we all know we have two main sources of light we have the natural light and then we have the artificial um, source of light now lighting on its own can take or move your video content from ground zero to a hundred like from here to here to further explain what i just said i'm going to be taking out one source of light from my setup so that you can see how important it is to have at least at least one light whenever you're creating your video okay well this is not that bad and it can pass as a vibe especially if the content calls for it as you can see you can still see me so the only light that i put out is the um, ring light behind me now i still have another ring light in front of me like directly in front of me and this is what we have and it's looking good right but then with more lighting a whole lot of people will see what you're doing clearer especially if you're into makeup tutorials if you teach or if you show um how you do your makeup you know we can't really see it in the dark so you really need a source of light meanwhile i still have plans of showing you guys what my lighting setup looks like since we're talking about light this whole vibe that i have is something that i recently started using so let me know if you like 
what you are seeing let me know in the comment section and we are going to speed up the process of that video now you can also use natural lights if you don't have any form of artificial lights natural lights in my opinion is the best it's really soft and diffused like plus it gives your skin this this beautiful glow there's this glow that comes with natural light that i love so much if you follow me on instagram you must have noticed the glow that i'm talking about because i film most of my videos with natural light natural light is also readily available as you know and it is cheap like it is so affordable it's free so in my opinion i guess that's a it's a win-win so if you don't have um artificial lights ready natural light is there for you so go ahead and make that content so moving on to the fourth tip that i have for you guys this tip is is really simple you just have to export in 4k make sure that you um the video editing software that you have allows you and gives you the feature of exporting in 4k so i'm going to be leaving this card up here just so that you're going to watch this video and then learn about the apps or see the apps that i have or that i use that would be really interesting i'm sure you guys are going to enjoy for the last tip you need to change your instagram and your youtube upload settings yes this is a thing if you did not know about this option or this feature you can go ahead right now and change the settings on instagram you need to go to your settings and once you're on your settings the next thing you want to go to is your data usage so you just need to scroll down and then you're going to see data usage and when you click on it you're going to also see high upload quality all you just need to do is enable it and you're good to go so next you want to go back to youtube and once you get to youtube you click on your profile picture and then you go to settings when you get to settings you're going to see upload go to upload and then select upload quality switch to full quality so this is only available to ios users these settings will help you upload in high quality and even if these platforms want to take anything out of your videos no matter what they take your video is still going to look good so now i'm going to be telling you the things you might want to look out for when it comes to creating engaging reels and um, youtube show the first thing you need to do is make sure you use a trending song i'm going to be telling you the three ways with which you can find trending sound for the first one you can go to the youtube tab and then keep scrolling down keep scrolling down keep scrolling down now the idea is if you hear the same sound more than 5 to 10 15 times within the space of um maybe 30 seconds to one minute it means that that song is trending bear in mind also that this can be very tricky so you might want to be focused when you're looking for these songs when you get the trending sound you can just go ahead to click on this um sound on this music at the bottom of the screen and then save the audio that will allow you to use that audio whenever you want the second way you can find a trending song is still on that real tab all you need to look out for is that growth sign or is it it looks like a graph or something this is an update that has not reached every user yet so you might want to update your instagram app and hope it has gotten to you if you are yet to get it just keep waiting and updating your app and hopefully someday to get to you now this is another way that you can find trending songs it's been said that if a song trends on tiktok just give it two weeks and then it will trend on instagram in as much as this is true it does not necessarily apply every time so doing this is definitely at your own risk in everything that i have said now bear in mind that not all sounds or not all songs not all trends basically is suitable for your brand so always make sure that you follow trends that work specifically for your brand or you use the trend and then make it yours second tip to creating an engaging reel is not to use too much words on your video now i see a lot of people when they want to explain something on the video or the video is explaining something they keep writing here writing here writing writing every year what i would advise that you do is just pick out the key notes or the key words that you want people to look out for and then put it on your story while you still write on that um particular video maybe at the end you tell people to read the caption now i'm going to be showing you a 
video on the screen that I did. Once you do all of that, you go to, to your caption and explain everything you want to explain in detail rather than putting it on the whole video and then it makes everything look really really distracting create more engagement by telling people to go down to your um, caption and then read everything and tell them everything you want to tell them the top tip to creating an engaging reel i would advise that you use um, transitions and or effects there are too many transitions and effects out there that I can if I don't even know where to start and where to stop. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to still show you this video. You can go ahead and watch it and then find out the apps that I use to make my um, Instagram reels or the apps that you would prefer that has a lot of transitions and effects. Lastly, do not forget to make body movements and please smile. Don't just be in one place and you stay like this. You're not a tree. Move your body. I hope that this video was really helpful and that you can apply all of these things that you've learned to your reels or to your YouTube shorts. I am not one that has done a lot of YouTube shorts lately on my channel, but I will change. I will change. And as always, if this is your first time of seeing me, hi, my name is Eva Anthony. Please don't make it your last by subscribing to my channel. Is that red button down below? Please give us a thumbs up and also turn on the notification bell. I hope to see you in one of my other videos, but until then, stay safe, stay fabulous, and stay beautiful. Bye!